the great. This is Victor Bozeman. Be with us next week when NBC Monday Night at the Movies will present Camelot. God rest ye merry gentlemen, God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we have gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Room 222, weekday mornings at 9.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Landis. Doug is off tonight. And Northeast Ohio is virtually snowbound at this hour. Most eastern suburbs have placed snow ban parking ordinances in effect. And even in Berea, their ban goes into effect in less than an hour. About 500 tons of salt has been dumped on area roads so far, with more planned to deal with that icy, slippery, treacherous road situation. The bad part is that more is on the way, and Mona has details for us a little later on. And when you get out of the cold, wet stuff tonight to have a hot cup of coffee, you better enjoy it, because one of the biggest brands, Maxwell House, says that its coffee is going up by 20 cents a pound after the first of the year. And that isn't the worst. The Agriculture Department says we can look for coffee prices to continue to rise next year, but the stop to those hikes may be two years away. Blowing snows and the high winds prompted Cleveland firefighters to call in a triple two alarm fire today when fire broke out in the back of a craft shop at East 56th, or 65th, I should say, in Fleet, just before 6 this evening. The fire in that uh, two-story frame structure apparently began in an area where neighborhood residents were painting plaster Christmas statues. There were no injuries reported. Damage set at $22,000. Fire tapped out in about 90 minutes. By order of a common pleas court judge today, uh, we should say uh, we're a little bit behind in our information here. Let us get back here. The northbound uh, lanes of Interstate 71 were quite a mess tonight as a truck jackknife near West 140th Street. Further south, a truck was stuck on an incline at Brook Park Road exit ramp. And in Mayfield Heights, I-271 entrance and exit ramps were closed while highway department trucks shelter them down. Cleveland police say that there has to be, there have been over 100 weather-related accidents so far. No deaths or serious injuries reported. And Cleveland Heights police with the Lyndhurst Bomb Squad are investigating a report that six sticks of dynamite have been found in a car on Ashton Road. No further details at this hour. Trunk of my car and Susan and I never made it home tonight. She's over at Channel 5 going to sleep. And, <laughs> a lot of people and I'm are over in here doing the news. I hope we all get home tonight. I think we will eventually. You know, winter's not supposed to come until tomorrow afternoon after 1230. I think it made it a little early. I don't think so. I think it's easier. <laughs> it definitely is. We'll talk about how much snowfall, but first we're going to take a look at a beautiful outside decoration. It belongs to one of our sound men, Jack Schmucky. He's quite an electronic whiz, as you're going to see. Jack's home in Lakewood before all the snow. Three to five inches of snow have been reported in the Cleveland area with up to 10 inches in Geauga and southeastern Cuyahoga counties. Hard to believe we reached 52 today. That was about 10, 15 this morning before a cold front changed the weather picture. 19, that's the current temperature, and that's the low for today. That translates into minus seven Celsius. 36 hundredths of an inch of liquid precipitation reported at the airport. Three inches of snow there. 84% is our relative humidity. The barometer is rising, has been steadily 29.71 inches, and the winds are northwesterly 14 to 21. They've been up to 40 miles per hour, which accounts for much of the drifting and blowing snow, making for extremely hazardous driving. Uh, the highs today, it's hard to believe again, 55 at Marietta and Chesapeake. The cooler highs over in the eastern, the western part of the state, 32 in Dayton, just 36 in Toledo. This was after that cold front passed through, they never quite warmed up, and that cold front is a strong Arctic one connected with a low pressure system that's bringing all our northwesterly winds. As far as a forecast, we can expect four more inches of snow in the Cleveland area tonight, 
much more in the snow belt. There's a traveler's advisory for the northern counties of Ohio, and the southern two-thirds of the state can expect at least two to three more inches. They've already gotten snowfall reported all over the state. This is that cold front. It now uh, lies from New York down through, through Florida. On the eastern side of it, there is some rain, freezing rain on the western side, along with that snow that stretches up into New York with a winter storm warning in upper New York State, also in upper Michigan. Now, if you travel either way, east or west tomorrow, you're bound to run into some heavy snow, so you want to bear that in mind and leave early. It's been cold today in the central plains, freezing all the way down into southern Texas. Back after this. Is it going to snow like this? Our assistant director just asked. No, it shouldn't snow like this tomorrow. A heavy snow should be over by morning, but we'll still have some flurries lingering, and they might accumulate. Remember, flurries can do that with mostly cloudy skies. Our low tonight, about 15, and we won't make it out of the teens tomorrow. Maybe a high of 17. That traveler's advisory probably approaches in the morning because that snow was really blowing and drifting with very slippery roads. Sunrise at 7.50, setting at 5.01. The winds will still be northwesterly and cold, 15 to 25 around the backside of a low-pressure storm system. Windy tomorrow. Wednesday continued cold, a high maybe near 20. Thursday, a little warmer and snow back in the forecast with a high in the upper 20s. Friday, partly sunny and warmer still at the freezing mark. And that big day, Christmas Day, there's a good chance we'll have some snow or maybe rain with a high of about 34. Mike? Thank you, Mona. An East Cleveland policeman is reportedly barricaded. TV3. everyone, I'm Mike Landis. And I'm Cameron Harper for Doug Adair, who is off tonight. A late afternoon shooting incident at an east side hamburger stand has sent a security guard to the hospital. Details are still coming in on that story. Another man in the hospital tonight in critical condition was shot by his father. And Cleveland will get a people mover. Cost and design yet to be determined. Don Lowers is out of jail. McKinley comes back to Canton. But first, the shooting. Mike? It was late this afternoon that a security guard was shot at a hamburger stand at Woodland in East 55th, and the guard is in surgery even now at St. Vincent Charity. And on the scene of that shooting is John Harrington in the minicab. John? We have very few details. The guard has been identified tentatively by another security guard in this area as Thomas Prince. He was shot once by at least three people, uh, shot by one of at least three, who apparently were trying to... Only rock. time for more people than you might imagine, and a report on that when Action 3 News continues. everyone. I'm Cameron Harper for Mike Landis, who's off tonight. Yeah, Don with his family down in Texas. And I'm Doug Adair. This is Action 3 News. More snow coming our way tonight. Coffee prices have gone over $3 a pound now. In Akron, though, uh, tulip bulbs were being given away free today. Cleveland police were making their annual rounds with food baskets. Adele Silver telling us tonight what she thinks about the 7% solution. Shelley Style has a new book on rock music, but first, uh, little doubt now, Cameron, that we are going to have a white Christmas. Little doubt about that. Winter arrived in full force this week, and as we know, more snow is predicted for tonight. Traffic was moving slowly this afternoon on the shoreway. There was a 10-car chain reaction accident. To add to the number of fender benders of lesser magnitude, two to three inches more snow is expected tonight, more in the snow belt. High winds and drifting and blowing of the old snow will create traffic hazards. Motorists are advised to drive with extreme caution. Mona will be with us later for a full report on all of that later in the program. That Doug? was some blizzard. If you think the uh, price of coffee is expensive, stay tuned.
wind was blowing hard and the snow was so thick that you just couldn't see. And the next minute you see the sunshine, you wonder what in the world's happening. We didn't have a mini blizzard, did we? No, these are called squalls, and that's where you have a brief, intense fall of snow and gusty winds, and then it goes away for a minute and comes back. We'll be having that most of the night. Oh, boy. And the uh, snow belt can expect the worst accumulation. We may get two to three inches over the city. Our weather film today was of some kids enjoying the sledding earlier before the squalls. This is near the West Shoreway. You might want to try something kind of interesting on Christmas Eve if you're a, an outdoors lover like these children are. Take your kids over to the Rocky River Metropolitan Park trails and take a Christmas Eve hike about 8 o'clock. And you've heard maybe that the animals talk on Christmas Eve. Well, you'll find out tomorrow night. The forecast isn't too bad for tomorrow either. Tomorrow night will be a little cloudy. But we're going to see the sun after all this snow tonight. We do have traveler's advisories for the northern third of the state, with the most snow being likely to fall right here in northeastern Ohio, two to three inches. The main problem, though, will be not in the amount of snow, but in the blowing and drifting of snow with these northwesterly winds that have been ferocious today. Up to 40 miles per hour down in Dayton, we've recorded some at 30. Our low tonight about 13, our high tomorrow 28. That's just cold sun. It's past giving us colder air. It's a weak one, though. We've got partly sunny skies here in northeastern Ohio. If you travel, South in Ohio, you find mostly sunny skies. Southwesterly winds will have tomorrow after the passage of this front completely with a high pressure system clearing us up 10 to 20 miles per hour. The sun will rise at 7.52 and set at 5.03 and we sure should see it. Doug? Mona, I've come back to work on the right day because I understand Don has some Christmas gifts to pass out. Didn't include you, Doug. You didn't include the I thought, just being, I thought just about being a part of this was enough gift every day of the year. I see. You believe that? Television, <laughs> nice guy. You forgot. <laughs> the Barons, they won their fourth in a row on home ice last night by beating Minnesota's North Stars 4-3. to three. And in football, this gift for rock and roll fans, and Adele's got the 7.5% solution. Mary, share the adventures of the Ingalls family in Monday at 8 and TV3. Christmas gifts that won't cost him a dime, but this is something I guess costs a little money from Shelley tonight, the Rolling Stone Illustrated History of Rock and Roll. That's right, Doug. It's incredible. You know, it is the day before Christmas and you still don't have a gift for someone, right? Well, there is a certain item out on the streets that I have. Hello, Dolly, at the proscenium at 8 o'clock. And a play based on South Africa called Siswi Bonzi is Dead at the Arena Theater at 8.30. The U.R. Cabaret Theater in North Royalton also has two presentations, Mind with a Dirty Man at 8.30, and then Private Lives at 9.30 tonight. And there's a Christmas show at the Armadillo at Akron tonight featuring a solo performance by jazz mus musician Pat Pace. And he is a very good one. I've always been big uh, cam on Sherlock Holmes, and a number of uh, major motion pictures are coming to town for the holiday trade. Some of them opened yesterday, and tonight Adele Silver is reviewing the 7% solution. If you're already having the holiday blahs, I have a solution. The report uh, with a diplomatic approach to problem solving. <laughs> 